Right. Nice and quiet for his audience. Here comes their next question. Starting in North America and moving east, put these musicals in order of their main geographical settings. Cabaret, Evita, My Fair Lady, paint your wagon. Eight left, eight looks of horror. Let's, um, <laughs> let's see, this is, this is the right order. I think more of them may have got it right than they think. Paint your wagon, obviously in California. Then you go into Argentina, so you're going south. Uh, My Fair Lady obviously said in England, and then Cabaret said in Germany, so that's the right answer. Now, out of eight, Dee's got it right. Who was fastest? Uh, Wendy Herp in 6.56 <laughs> seconds! <laughs> Wendy! Come on, did you do this? Now, I suppose you want a million quid while you're on your way through the studio, do you? Right, this is Wendy Herp. Uh, she was born in New York, raised in Ohio, and worked for a US congressman in Washington before moving to London 27 years ago. Uh, she nowadays lives in Whitney in Oxfordshire, where she's a publishing editor for a science publishing house. Uh, she met what she describes as a wonderful Yorkshireman called Mike in a bar inside the British Embassy when she was working in Washington and married him. He's here with her tonight. They have three quite grown-up kids, and she says her dream would be to win enough on the show for a house by the sea but she settled for 600 quid to pay for full British citizenship. <laughs> Hardly complicated at all. Right, 12 questions, three brand new lifelines, one million pounds is the formula. Wendy, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, we've been up to 50,000, we've been up to 75,000. We're back down at question number one. This is for 500 pounds. Des Lynham is best known for presenting TV programmes on what subject? Food, gardening, sport, music. That's sport, Chris. It's the right answer. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> Question number two is for 1,000. This would guarantee you at least that amount to take home. Here it comes. Hoisin sauce is most likely to be served in which type of restaurant? Italian, Chinese, Indian, or Turkish? It's Chinese, Chris. Chinese is the right answer. You now have £1,000. <laughs> Wendy, your life is very complicated. You're raised in Ohio, you now live in Whitney. <laughs> and Mike was a dream come true. Absolutely. So we've got to imagine now, looking up. <laughs> it's still there, the magic, isn't it, Michael? Oh, it's something about a Yorkshireman, I must say. Yeah, they're usually really mean. OK. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have £1,000. <laughs> Question number three is for £2,000. Let's try and get some money. Here we go. Which bird can be identified by the eye-like spots on its tail? Ostrich, raven, kingfisher, peacock. That's peacock, Chris. Final answer? Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got 2,000 pounds. <laughs> Question number four is for 5,000. As what is Janice Dickinson most famous? Singer, model, ballerina, cook. She is a model, Chris. She a model? Yes, she's a model. Final answer. Final answer. You're on a bit of a roll, Wendy. Hope you got five thousand pounds. You have not touched any of my clients. Okay, 
Question number five is for £10,000. You can double your money here. Uh, you would lose 4000 if you gave me a wrong answer. You have got all three lifelines still untouched. Here it comes. With which sport is the name Ross Braun most associated? Horse racing, cricket, tennis, motor racing. I have an inkling, but I think I would like to go 50-50. OK, right. Computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Wendy the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Now, how's your inkling looking? It's still inkling. Is it still there? Yes, it's still there. Are and you tell me which one it is? I will say motor racing, final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £10,000. You're two away. You've been quietly working up, Wendy Hupp. You're two away from 50,000. You still have two lifelines. Question number six is for £20,000. Here it comes. Which poet was born in Cockermouth in Cumbria in 1770? Keats, Shelley, Wordsworth, Tennyson. <sighs> I was afraid I was going to get a question like this. Like what? <laughs> what an easy one. Oh, it's only easy if you know the answer. Do you know, I've heard that somewhere before. <laughs> Who's it used to say that? <laughs> it's for £20,000. You've got to phone a friend. You can ask the audience. One of those. Which poet right. was born in Cockermouth in Cumbria in 1770? Keats, Shelley, Wordsworth or Tennyson? I think... I think I would like to phone a friend. OK. Who'd know? I would like to phone my friend David. What does he do? He teaches he, poetry. Well, he, he is a t he's a teacher, he's a lecturer. So, mm -hmm. uh, OK, right, we'll phone David. Where is he? He's in Scarborough. OK, phone David in Scarborough. We're telling the question, four possible answers. Uh, want me to tell him it's worth £20,000? Um, yeah, go on. Go on, focus him. <laughs> Hello. David. Hello, yes. Chris Darren, who wants to be a millionaire? Good evening. Hello. Um, are you feeling calm and collected? Uh, hardly. No, oh, come on. Um, right, I've got Wendy in the chair. Yes, hello. She's doing rather well. She's stuck on a particular question. It is worth £20,000. Right. So it's quite serious. Yes. Right, David, the next voice will be Wendy. She'll tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. One of them is obviously the right answer. It's the one we want. OK. All right, mate. Right, Wendy. Lots of luck, darling. You've got 30 seconds. Your time starts now. David. Hello? Which poet was born in Cockermouth in Cumbria in 1770? Was it Keats, Shelley, Wordsworth, or Tennyson? Well, I think it's Wordsworth. How sure are you? I was going to say Wordsworth before you said. I'm sort of 50% is sure, 50-60%. I think Wordsworth was born in Cockermouth. OK. OK. All right, thanks, David. OK. Thank you. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Why are you grinning at me? Because we're happy with his answer? Um, I trust David. Uh, you would lose £9,000 here if you gave me a wrong answer, but it is worth £20,000. I, I am going to go with Wordsworth. Is that your final answer, That is my final answer, Chris. You've adopted a sort of praying position now. <laughs> Wendy, you've just won £20,000. <laughs> Good job, you've found a friend. You have £20,000. You can ask this shiny new audience. Have a look at question number seven of a possible 12. Here it comes. Which of these capital cities is not in Asia for 50 grand? Abu Dhabi. A man. Andorra La Vella. Astana. Why are you grinning? It's hysteria. Uh, no, it's not hysteria. It's because I think I know the answer. That's good. Let's say I know I know the answer. 
Let's say, I hope you're right. The answer is C, Chris, and Dora Lavella. And that's my final answer. Why are you so certain? Because Andorra is between France and Spain. Is that Andorra or Andorra La Vella? La Vella is the capital, I think. You just won £50,000. <laughs> Welcome back, Wendy. You did know. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> you are £50,000 better off. Have a look. What do you want to do? Take it? Can I just look at it? Well, you can if you want. Oh, that's very nice. It's very nice. It says, pay Wendy Herp, that's you, £50,000. Fantastic. It's a serious amount of money. What does that mean to you and Mike? It's just, it's just wonderful. It's, I wouldn't say it's life-changing, but it's certainly life-enhancing at, uh, at our point. So uh, it's brilliant. It's fantastic. That's the least amount you will leave here with tonight, £50,000. And you are only five little right answers away from a million. Mike's grinning at you, by the way. He's very pleased okay. with you. Okay. <laughs> you met him at the bar. There's a surprise. It happens to a lot of the couples <laughs> on the show. You met at the bar in the British Embassy. Yes. It was just like a little British pub in the Embassy. And uh, that's where we met. And he proposed to you in a lift. Yes, yes. <laughs> Going up, which is a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, right, come on. Serious business. You have... £50,000. You still have one lifeline. Great thing about the next question, as always, you might as well play it. You cannot lose money on this one. Have a look at question number eight. You've got 50 grand guaranteed. Here it comes. In 2008, which pop group became the first to perform at the Louvre Museum in Paris? Coldplay, Rolling Stones, Duran Duran, Oasis. I think I'm going to have to ask this wonderful audience. Right, audience, your chance to shine. This is the question. In 2008, which pop group became the first to perform at the Louvre Museum in Paris? Your options on your keypads are A, Coldplay, B, Rolling Stones, C, Duran Duran, or D, Oasis. All vote now. Fifty-nine percent say Coldplay, twenty-two percent Rolling Stones, uh, twelve percent Duran Duran, and just seven percent say Oasis. So, it's up to you. Well, that was my my instinct. You, Wendy. <laughs> you. You're going to say that, aren't of you? Of course I am. Okay. Of course I am. Well, I didn't think it was Duran Duran, so uh, so I will go with the audience and I'll say a Coldplay. Final Is that answer. your final answer, Wendy? Yes. Up. Yes. You had £50,000. You've still got £50,000. The right answer, actually, is Duran Duran. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> yep, Simon Le Bon and co, live in the Louvre in Paris. But, not bad, you can take it now. There you are, give her a big hand. She goes away <laughs> with £50,000. We've got ten brand new contestants who all applied to be on the show by phoning the Millionaire Hotline. I'll give the number later on. Uh, as always, they're all hoping they've got the quickest wits and the fastest fingers. Let's meet them. They are... Stuart Howell from Western Morgan. John Nelson from Harleypool. Dave Curry from West Yorkshire. Lisa Morley from Cambridgeshire. Charles Woodward from Flintshire. Ian Carter from Berkshire. David Moore from County Derry. Paul Matthew and from Roxburghshire. Jonathan Holdaway from Dorset. And James Atkinson from Cheshire. <laughs> Particularly good waves this evening. Well done, everybody. <laughs> right, fastest finger first. Time to find out which of our top ten will be next to try for that elusive million pounds. We have one question. It has four answers, only one correct order. Let's see who can punch in that correct order in the shortest possible time. No distraction from the audience, please, at this point. Here comes their question. 
starting in North America and working east. Put these menu items in order of the place they are named after. 